Hi, what's up you guys? This is La Modelis and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. For today's tutorial, we will learn how to recreate the famous baguette bag. A little history, the baguette bag was designed by Silva Venturini Fendi in 1997 and gained popularity during the 2000s for its endless appearance in Sex and the City, the series and the movies and for the It Girls of 2000s. In present time, the baguette bag made a comeback during the late 2010s with different iterations from labels like Prada and The Row. The baguette bag is also known for its simple, pouchy, and accessible design. And just like a Frenchman, we carry this purse underarm like a baguette bread. So get your papers and pen ready and let's start recreating the pattern for this iconic bag. To start off the frame, draft a horizontal line at the bottom of your paper. And a left vertical line. Make sure to leave some space. From the vertical line, mark out 10 for 8 inches. And square a line. Next, mark in the half of the frame, which is 5 to 8 inches. And square align. From the bottom line, mark up 8 for 8 inches. And square align. Next, mark out 6 eighths of an inch from both vertical lines of the frame. And connect two diagonal lines at the top line. From the top line, mark down 2 inches or 5 centimeters. And square a line. From midline, mark out 1 for 8 inches both sides. From these marks, square up a curved line going towards the top line. From the frame lines, mark in 1 6 8 inches on both sides. And mark up 2 to 8 inches from both diagonal lines. From the angle, square a diagonal line hitting the frame lines. Next, connect these marks by drawing curve lines. Next, get the half measurement of the bag pattern and record. Get the halfway measurement of the upper part of the bag and record. And lastly, get the measurement from midline to the angle line and record. And 
we can cut out the body pattern from the paper. To start off the pattern for the gazette, draw a right vertical line and a bottom horizontal line. Next, from the vertical line, mark out 13 4 8 inches, half measurement of the body. And square a line. And from the right vertical line, Mark out 5 4 8 inches for the bottom part of the gazette. And square a line. From the bottom line, mark up 3 4 8 inches. And square a line. Next, mark the halfway of the gazette. From the halfway, mark out 5 eighths of an inch both sides. This is the weed for the side of the gazette. From these marks, draw a diagonal line going towards the bottom part of the gazette. Next, cut out the gazette pattern from the paper and label it on fold. And these are the measurements for the strap. Before I sew, I am going to iron on the interfacing to the self. And these are the self pieces with the interfacing ironed on. For the zipper, I used a YKK 10 inches or 25 centimeters long. This zipper will be connected to the body and the side of the cassette. Before that, I will sew a few panels to the zipper to cover, and later I will measure it out, same measurement as the side weave of the cassette. And in here, I'm going to sew the first panel as the self. And sew the second panel as the lining. And I will do the same thing on the other side. Next, I will top stitch the panels by 2 eighths of an inch. And after sewing the panels, I am going to cut off the excess. Next, I will attach few panels end to end.
and in here I have marked the side width of the gazette to match and the length is 11 6 8 inches. Next, I will mark out 3 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter for the sewing allowance. And cut off the excess. And now, this is the zipper panel for the bag. Next, I will attach the body to the zipper panel. Place everything right side to right side, match the notches, and sew. And it will look something like this. Next, I will attach the body lining. Face the lining to the wrong side of the body, match the notch, and sew. Snip out the sewing allowance to flatten it out. Next, top stitch the seam of the body by 1 millimeter. And this is how it should look like. Before I attach the second lining of the body, I will work on the pocket. First, draw the half of the lining and mark down 2 inches or 5 centimeters. Get a piece of fabric and fold it. And top stitch the fold of the fabric by 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 cm. Next, fold this fabric and finger press to locate the half. Lastly, draw the half. Place the pocket at the center and on top of the 2 inches mark and pin in place. Next, sew the center line. Next, sew the shape of the body directly to the fabric of the pocket. And cut off the excess of the pocket fabric. And now, we have a pocket for the bag. Next, I will attach the lining with the pocket to the zipper panel. And here you go, the linings are now attached. Next, I will sew one side of the strap. After that, I'm going to sew the strap by 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 cm. And I'm going to press the seams open. After that, I'm going to fold and press the rest of the seams by 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 cm. And lastly, I will fold the strap and press to close. Next, I'm going to top stitch both sides of the strap by 1 mm. Next, I'm going to attach this strap at the gazette. Now that the strap is attached to the gazette, I will attach the body of the bag to the gazette.
I've pinned everything in place and I'm going to sew this by 3 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter. After sewing the body for the bag, I'm going to sew the gazette to the lining of the bag. Before I sewed the other lining, I made it sure that I left an opening in about 4 inches or 10 centimeters to turn the bag inside out. I'm going to sew now the other part of the lining, skipping the opening. And please don't forget to sew the side gazette and face the seams towards the self. And we are now done assembling the back. To complete it off, I am going to top stitch the opening of the lining. Fold the opening according to the sewing allowance, pin it in place, and top stitch. And voila! Here is my DIY baguette bag. This is how it looks like on the inside. It's neat. This bag is really good because I can bring everything. And even if I don't bring my book, I still have a room. Actually, even if I have my book, I still have a room to put my things in here. Like probably if I'm gonna add a brush. Yay, girl. I can still bring a brush. So there you go, guys. This is the baguette bag. Hi, dogs. This bag is so accessible and very useful, especially for those people like me who are looking for a spacious shoulder bag. Seriously, guys, I can bring my whole life in here. Anyway, guys, comment down below if you have any questions and I'll make it sure to answer as quickly as possible. And I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to recreate your own baguette bag. And don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, La Modelise. And I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!